Whitworth. Oh, this is a Whitworth. Yeah. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't realize that Whitworth made a lot of muzzle on Whitworth. Yeah. It just happened to be a muzzle. Well, we definitely got to get the octagonal barrel. Let's, let's spend a little time with this one. Yeah. Do you have the ability to manufacture ammunition for this? Oh yeah, we got all kinds of ammunition. I got the drawings of uh, Sir Joseph Whitworth from Manchester, England. He made he made machine tools for machine shops. He built a, a machine that that planed two Whitworth bolts, two twelve pound Whitworth bolts at the same time, two at a time. He built all the machinery for that. Quite a sophisticated thing. That's amazing. So with the Whitworth accuracy, have you had a chance to shoot this live? Uh, all right. <laughs> you know, accuracy actually had nothing to do with sales. Uh, in England, he went toe to toe with Armstrong on accuracy. Yep. And he'd win every time. But they didn't buy Whitworth. If, if, if the Queen likes Armstrong for whatever deal or reason, that's what they <laughs> So they actually don't mean nothing. So you got to sell to the boss. Yeah, exactly. Sell to the influence. So anyway, the, but the, the, the downside of, of the Whitworth is it's a mechanical fit. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not putting in a projectile that, like a mini ball, when you fire it, it expands into the grooves. Yep. Well, this is a mechanical, hex hexagonal mechanical fit. Well, guess what? When, the, when you get uh, buildup, yeah. You can't get the you can't get the, the, the shot down here. You get stuck. So a little more frequent that, cleaning. They yeah, took very good care of it. A question for you, sir. Of all the, the artillery pieces in your, I should say, arsenal here, how many of these are could be taken out to the range and shot today? Every one. Every single one. We don't have all hangers anymore. We everything here has to be and has been shooting. We've shot everything.